We are here in Traverse City, Michigan, a fantastic city in the northwest part of Lower Michigan. We're gonna be heading on a restaurant tour, check out a few different great places to get some food in Traverse City. Uh, here on it's the Scott Man, and you make sure not to watch this video on an empty stomach. It is so great to be here in Traverse City. I don't get to come up here much enough, but when I do, I absolutely enjoy it. It's one of my favorite areas of all of Michigan. And as I was just saying, we're gonna be going on a restaurant tour, check out three different restaurants, and also maybe get some ice cream while we're here too. So we're, we're not starting off here in downtown Traverse City. We are technically in Slaptown, which is an old historic neighborhood here in Traverse City, which used to be home to wood carvers and mill workers. And why not start off this video by going to Sledders, which is the oldest continuously running restaurant in the state of Michigan. So we're gonna get some great food in a very historic location. So I'm really excited because I've, I've never tried Sledders before, but I've heard they have some great burgers. So why not kick off this restaurant tour by going to a piece of history here in Traverse City. All right, so we are inside the oldest restaurant in Michigan, and I just love the interior in here. It's really, really cool. This restaurant's been around for well over a century, and they got all sorts of great stuff for burgers, sandwiches, salads, seafood, lots of great stuff. But I, I had to get their Sledders burger. Got some got a half pound burger with cheddar cheese on it. Also got some lettuce and onion, and also some hand cut fries and some coleslaw, or the Scott Man Classic. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and chow down here. But I have some of the Scott Man Classic here first. Good old coleslaw. Mm. Now this is good coleslaw. Not too overwhelming with, with, with the dressing, just perfect. And they have some of their fries, and then some of the ketchup. They're pretty good. I like they're a little on the soggier side, but they're still good, especially when you dip it in with ketchup. But what I'm really looking forward to is this Mount Wari burger. Now this is cooked perfectly. This is fantastic. The ground beef full of flavor. The cheddar is just perfect on it. Definitely one of the best burgers I've had up here, here in Northern Michigan. All right, I need the rest of this off camera and I'll see you back outside. The food was absolutely fantastic. That really filled me up. <clears throat> so I'm gonna do a little bit more exploring around Traverse City to work off that burger because there's gonna be some more food we cover in this video. Great burger, great service, great history. All right, so the next food place we're gonna be going to is gonna be in downtown, so don't go anywhere. And it's time to head to our second restaurant and this time we are here in the heart of downtown Traverse City here on Front Street which is the the main through fear here in downtown we got a lot of great shops and restaurants I show a lot more in my main Traverse City video if you've not seen that already yet make sure to watch that too but you might want to continue with this one because I have a lot more great food to tell you about. And speaking of great food, we're in front of Sparks Barbecue. The restaurant opened up in 2015, but it started out in a trailer. And the barbecue was so good that the owner had to had to get his first store for it a year later, or building for it a year later. And then in 2018, he purchased the building across the way here. And inside, you get some of the best barbecue in all of Traverse City. In fact, the barbecue is so good that they use wood-powered smokers for all their meat. Whether it's pulled pork, chicken thighs, brisket, ribs. I'm getting hungry just talking about it. Let's, let's go in. <laughs> all right, so I'm here inside, and even this early in the evening, it's quite lively in here. Enough place to sit down, nice interior in here. 
They got a lot of great barbecue here. I got their pulled pork with their signature barbecue sauce. I got a side of baked beans or mac and cheese. It also comes with some tortilla chips too. This looks amazing. Might be a little hot though. Mm. But very sweet though. Big beans are absolutely fantastic. I'll have to dip it, or dig into some of this mac and cheese. Mm. Very creamy and cheesy. Yeah, it's per perfect with the cavatappi noodles. Alright, this looks juicy and delicious. Full pork. Nice and juicy with the barbecue sauce. It is heaven on a plate. This is great barbecue. Yeah, this is one place you have to check out here in Traverse City. Phenomenal food. I need another bite. Mm -mm. Now that was some good stuff. Sparks Barbecue has a great, great barbecue. That filled me up, but that's not all of the food we're gonna cover on Front Street in this video. There'll be another restaurant we'll head to that's a little bit outside of the downtown area, but I'll say that for the end because we need dessert. And I've done a lot of walking around in Traverse City and also in the Sleeping Bear Dunes area yesterday. So I've deserved some ice cream. So we're gonna do that, but we need to get back over to Front Street. So what am I doing? Let's turn around and go back this way. All right, time for some dessert. And why not get some great ice cream over at Milk and Honey? Okay, here on Front Street, just across from the State Theater. For all I was seeing online, they have some great ice cream, and if you're and if you're vegan, they got some vegan options over there too. So everybody can join in the fun. All right, so let's let's head across the street and get some ice cream. So here inside, and nice little cozy interior. Get some fresh ice cream. Got some, got a few tables inside, and got one of their signature flavors. This is their cookie dough, which. They got sweet cream with homemade cookie dough, some caramel, and some hot fudge. And I'm trying to dig into this thing. All right, here we go. Mm -mm. Fresh and delicious. Now that was appetizing. The ice cream is absolutely delicious in there. And what's really cool is that is that they get their milk from grass-fed cows. So that's how you know that you're getting the good stuff. Not only that, but yeah, people are very friendly in there. And if you're looking for some great ice cream, definitely check out Milk and Honey here in downtown Traverse City. All right, so there's gonna be one more restaurant we'll check out in this video before we conclude. Although, as I'm filming this, I'll probably be doing that tomorrow because I've had enough food for today, but oh, although for this video, you'll be seeing that momentarily. All right, it's time to head to our last restaurant in this Traverse City restaurant tour. We're along M22, just maybe about a mile north of where it begins in Traverse City. And we're on the western end of Grand Traverse Bay, and this is Harrington's by the Bay. It is a fantastic restaurant located, again, just on the western shores of Grand Traverse Bay. And they're supposed to have some great food, so this would be a great place to conclude our restaurant tour. So let's just go in. All right, here inside, I got a really nice dining room. Quite fancy, I have to say. I like the canoes that are on the on the walls, or top, higher up on the walls there. And also, too, if you look out that way, you can even see Grand Traverse Bay. 
But they got a lot of great food, different seafood dishes, ribs, chicken. But I decided to get their pan-crusted white fish. It has a tomato on top, some mashed potato, and also their fresh vegetable of the day, which today it's, it's asparagus. You get a little bit of the... Try a little bit of the potato. Mmm. Potatoes are very rich. I like that they have some of the skins in them still. And some of the asparagus. Mmm. This is really good asparagus, nice and fresh. All right, well I'm really excited for this white fish. Mmm. The Parmesan crust is perfect. The white fish, the white fish is just nice and moist. It's not tough at all. Cooked perfectly. I need another bite. Mm. This is top notch, my friends. Yeah, this restaurant is absolutely fantastic. Definitely check out Harrington's. That food was absolutely fantastic. Uh, make sure to check out Harrington's by the Bay when you're visiting Traverse City. Traverse City has a lot of great restaurants to check out, and I'm only just scratched the surface. There are a lot of other great restaurants in the area. So I may have to come back and do a second tour at some point, but had a lot of great food and really enjoyed my time here in Traverse City. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video here of the different restaurants you can check out here in Traverse City, Michigan. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click that subscribe button to uh, come along and Join me for the venture and uh, don't forget to click that, no that notification bell so, so, so that we know, know when a new video goes live. Well, thank you for watching and this is Scott of the Scott Man signing out.